Hello everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for clicking on the video. So this video is a tag video. Um, I was tagged by Lucy Just Adds Colour and um, it was a room tour, colouring room tour storage area. Um, I don't actually have a um, actual desk, you know, dedicated space for where I colour. I actually colour on the sofa uh, on the couch. Um, and so I thought I'd show my storage area and you know basically where I sit in colour so anyway this is in my living room so what I'm showing you now is basically the setup that I have in the corner of my living room which is this um, sort of unit cupboard area um, in the corner where I keep some of my stuff so let's start on this end so here this is just um, oops just an empty sort of container trays that I like to buy to put my stuff in and then in here this is basically where I keep my spare stuff so in here I have um, some cotton wool pads I'll just take it out because it might be a bit easier to see then put it down here so uh, some cotton wool pads for applying pastels some watercolour Dish pens, which I haven't used yet, but the spare ones, some Faber Castell uh, pit artist pens in black, different different um, nib sizes, etc. These are some Chromatech spare um, gel pen refills. Um, I've got some Tombow brush pens, blender pens, just a um, random pencil there, and. Um, not really oh yeah crown dash blender pencil as well so a few spare things in there i'm just going to leave it out and go here all right so in this one i have um some spectrum noir sparkle clear sparkle pens and some spare poskas as well so you can see put that back it's hard operating with one one hand not used to it and then in this one I have just spare spare um oops, spare sharpness I've got a tea gal I've got Stadler erasers went sharpener um this is a shave and save from Derwent as well so you can use it for art sticks and pastels if you want the shavings another Faber Castell um, sharpener Just some eraser there and oops, a need need needable needable eraser as well but I don't really use pastels that much so in this one well pastels when I say I don't really use pastel pencils too much so here I have some blending stumps so this is all um, you know stuff that could use for blending sort of um, you know the stick pastels for backgrounds some um, eyeshadow things again for pastels some spare um, pencil extenders which I haven't used yet so really it's just a all spare thing and then in this last one I have hope I'm not making it too dizzy um, a couple of quickie glue spares a jelly roll size 08 I've got a spare black glaze pen I've got a stardust Oh yeah, that's a spare, the spare clear Stardust glitter pen, and then a couple of whoops, getting camera. That's a, a gel white clear glaze as well. On I have next to it just um, some. Well, it's basically a stationary sort of um, caddy, and got some post-it notes, some tags. And just you know, it's not really colouring related calculators, etc. Um, this um, part or shelf, and this shelf here is for work, so we move past that. 
and then we'll come to the bottom shelf and here I have my uh, pencil cases some of my pencil cases that I that I store at the bottom so if you start on this end I have brusho um, which is really nice to use um, I use I won't use it in books but I'll use it on PDF pages so brusho with wax pastel crayons to give a certain effect I have some pastel Faber Castell gelato in here and then some more Faber Castell um, yeah I think that's all we've got is in there Faber Castell gelato different colours with the paint brushes that came with it and that's that put that away over here there so I only recently sorted this out because um, I'm on holidays and I thought it'd be quite good to do it and um, this are, these are all pencil cases that I need to sort stuff out yet so I haven't quite finished so in this watermelon one I don't know what I've got what have I got let's have a look oh yeah some fine liner pens so I just pop them in there and um, in here I've got some random glitter pens that I need to sort out as well oh yeah there's some raw pentel metallics in there and then these two pencil cases again I need to sort out things so I will bother going through all of them because I can do a separate video with what I put in my pencil cases anyway so if you're interested in a pencil cases video I can do that so um, there's also these three that I these are Posca Pastel um, soft sticks. I got them to try from Cult Pens, uh, which I haven't tried. I haven't had a chance to try them yet. And then this, I need to find a home for these. These are Jane Davenport uh, Pastels palette. And then a couple of baskets. So I'll just uh, put them all in here. We'll leave them there. So it matter if it put it away properly afterwards and then some line paint pens as well that I need to find a home for. Um, and here I have my watercolour pencils and you can see that some of my um, pencil cases got labelled on. I did put labels on all of them but some fell off. So watercolour pencils in here, different types, Albert, Duras, Deadler, Derwent, Metallic. If you want to see um, them then you I have got a separate video um, my watercolour pencils collection and then this is another one which I think just stores some Brunzeal pencils some Stabi Stabilo pencils and um, just some Kohinoor watercolour pencils as well so again <coughs> I will cover those in a separate video and then in this one Um, I think this is my Arteza 72 set yeah and then these are some Lyra's which are really really nice really like the Lyra pencils they're called Lyra Groove there are harder pencils and then some Tritones and some Koino Polycolors so yeah these are just pencils I use less often and then in here, this is a big, big, big case. Just open them. Right, so in here I've got some gel pens that I don't use often. I do still use them, but, but you know, I think I've got some Chromatec ones in here and some, I can't remember the other... Amazer pens, that's it, Amazer pens, and as well as some Pentel Joel Metallics. So you can see I've got Pentel Joel Metallic hybrids everywhere because, I don't know, I just really, really like them. Um, and then some Souffle um, Jelly Rolls, which I should use a bit more of, and a few spare, um, a few spare Jelly Roll glaze. So, yep. Yeah that's my metallic one sorry not metallic that's my um gel pens ignore the wires everywhere because they just live here here i have got a um sort of a tray that i use when i apply glitter and confetti 
so that just lives there and then in this squirrel case which I'm trying to open bear with me, bear with me I'm not very good at this sort of video right so in here I have got my alcohol fine liners so I have um, the big intensity yep yeah, big intensity and also um, the Amazon um, basics um, alcohol markers so that's what I keep in there so I'll put these back later because I don't want to um, do it right now and then I've got some castle art pencils I've got the 72 set in here a quick little look at them they are a nice budget friendly pencil that I use sometimes often take them abroad if I'm going abroad I might take I, I do take those actually and then in here I have um, what does it say um, Zigbrush pens, Stabilo fine liners and Stabilo fluorescent well actually I'm not actually sure that I have got those in there but let's have a look it's a lovely cat pencil this RC it tells a lie I actually have, uh, I must have changed it some time ago, I have my Zig, um, what are these called again, Zig, yeah, real brush pens there, yeah, I think I've got the 60 set, I think, yeah, but um, I haven't used them in ages, and then I have my um, Arteza, in this denim case, I think it's the let's have a look. yeah, the Arteza Twi markers, of which I think I've got the 100 set. Um, I think I got the 48 set first, and then I got this 100 set. So that's that one. Let's just put that there, and then the last one on this end is whoops, this lovely polar bear case. Yeah, it's a polar bear, isn't it? So get that open. And I have some uh, Tombow brush pens. I would love the full set, but I'm happy with what I've got as well. So I've got them, and I've got the 48 Arteza Twi marker set as well. So that's that. So we'll leave them there. And then on this end here, I have my chameleon um, chameleon alcohol markers. I don't really like the box they come in because I think it's quite um, cumbersome to take it out so I'm not too keen with the box anyway let's just dump that in there and then here at the top I have the oh yes the case which houses my Costco markers so I've got the metallics gold silver and then a red and then some glitter ones here and then some pastel ones here, I think the pastel, pastel here, and then some metallics, and then these are just some thick markers from the pit pens. And then here I also have some more, um, just your normal shades. And then I think at the back, let me see, oops, you can see there, I've got the PC1MR, you know, the fine points in, in there. I think I've got the 16 set or something like that. So that can go there. Um, in here, a nice sort of a polar bear. Not polar bear. We had a polar bear. This is a panda. Yeah, panda. Get the animals right. So here I have my water based markers. So I have the some of these which are the big yeah the big intensity fine liners I think then some stabilo ones um some fluorescent stabilo ones um the thicker markers so you know the thicker point ones there some more and then um I really like these are my favourite which are the Stadler Tri Plus I think they're called Stadler Triplus. You can see they're labelled up anyway. Stadler, yeah, Triplus colour. 
um, which finish off there with some more, I think, um, Stabilo fine liners. So that's them. Um, in this case, I have this one, which is called Sewing and Knitting Theme. Um, these are the Crayolas, the Crayola, um, what are they called now? Gosh, I can't really, can't think of it. The, you know, you know, the standard Crayola ones. They're okay. Um, I don't really use them, to be honest. It's these um, point ones. But yeah, they, they're, uh, I labelled them up. They are alright to use, but not for large areas because they do streak. As many people say, they do, which is true. Um, in here I have this sort of a pencil case. I've got some, uh, the chameleon colour tops, so I've sort of just bundled them together because according to colour. So there you go. So they are there to go with the chameleon. And then the last um, one I've got here is the Chameleon Fine Liners. So those are all the pencil cases at the okay, So now it's the books. Um, so in this tall sort of central bit there, um, I have my books. So you can see it from the top there. Um, I've got quite a selection and then got quite a lot of Amazon printed books there and then you know your Hannah Carlson and Maria Troll and Johanna Basford and Tommy Slav Tomic's books a couple of their books that's an empty shelf where I can put the books that I'm currently working on and then if I come here you can also see some more books so that's Kirby Roseanne's um, books and Mythographic I think I've got a couple of those um, and then some more books with a million bears, a million ca uh, cats, etc. The Rita Berman's books. And then down here, I have some art books. You probably heard my um, knees crack there. And then um, gee, there's some reading books that I just bring down from upstairs to, to read. And then um, <laughs> moving back up here, I have this cupboard. And yeah, I've got nothing at the top yet, but I have these couple of boxes. There's this butterfly box, which I, I'm going to bring down here so you can have a look, see what's in here. So this is basically um, my, you know, glittery stuff. So not glittery stuff, shiny, no, shiny gem stuff. So pearl gems, sort of all sorts of gems in here um, that you can see. Um, some more gems there um, yeah I just keep sort of different sort of gems some are for card making and some are for you know that I use like these here for um, and then there's these gems as well that I'd need glue to attach so yeah um, that's where I keep my glitzy stuff in that box there and then I have this dinosaur box which hopefully I can get out to show you in here I have some um, you know wax soluble sorry water soluble wax pastels and um, they obviously were nowhere near as good as new color too um, but you know they're okay and um, I still keep them then I have some oil pastels, water soluble oil pastels, which I think I need to use on some PDF pages. Um, Faber Castell uh, metallic gel sticks and some Jane Dab no sorry, Dina Wakely media scribble sticks, which are fairly, um, I used to use them in my mixed media journal pages, but I haven't really used them in colouring books. And then some three packs of uh, Distress inks, which are quite nice, and then these which I really don't use, colour preps, some sort of pastel sticks. So yeah, that's what I keep in there. And 
hopefully pop that away. Um, really sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but I'm trying my best. Okay, and then some more books here. These are my few of my artist edition books here: Lost Ocean, um, Secret Garden, Summer Nights, and then just some other books which I still need to sort out really. Um, and then I've got my PDF pages in these uh, display books here. Then in the next um, shelf, on the next shelf, should I say, in this case here, I have my um, paints. So these are the Deco Art acrylic paints. Um, there's a range here that you can see. Um, the usual, you know, black that I use a lot. And then you've got Glamour Dust. And then you've also got Galaxy Glitter. So if you watch my videos, you'll see that I really like glittery, shiny stuff. So all the Americana paints, the Deco Art paints, except I've got a few um, pearl ones from Do Crafts. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. So yeah, they are all in here. So next to the acrylics, there are some watercolour palettes. So this one here is um, a small one, which is from White Nights, I think it is. Um, I never swatched it out, but there you go. It's only a small palette. So White Nights. Um, I've also got the pretty excellent watercolours, which I do probably my favourite ones that I use and then the um, what's it called Paul Rubens glitter paints in the pink case which I'm sure you've seen many times on many videos but yeah they are nice shiny metallic paints um, and then the, oops the roll with some paintbrushes in and then here I have the Windsor and Newton set of paints as well so yeah that's those I'm just gonna pop them away pop them in here I'll need to it up later on. And then on the next shelf we have um, my distress inks in this little sort of a storage craft box. Um, and so you've got the tools, the distress ink tools, the small distress ink pads and a few large, um, a few of the large distress um, ink pads as well and the tools that go with them. So yeah that's all this in there and then at the bottom I have um, sort of some paint brushes here um, and a sort of a steel ruler and then I've got what is this yeah transparent watercolour ground very good uh, to put on pages but it's quite expensive um, to prime it to use watercolour then I've got my um, gel matte medium, which um, I bought during my uh, journaling days. And then the gloss gel medium, I've got the satin glaze liquid, Spectrafix for pastels, you can see gesso there. You've got black gesso as well, which again, I don't really use in colouring books for obvious reasons. And then... Um, this is some glass beads, oops, glass beads texture gel, which I sometimes use. Um, stick and spray for stencils. Um, multi matte medium for sticking stuff. The usual Mod Podge. And then um, some Inca Gold and some Inca Gold Silver. So, yeah, that's just where I keep my um, 
you know, sort of uh, art stuff, art medium stuff. Okay, so that's that. And then, nearly done with this area, just here at the edge I have a few in this very thin um, bookshelf thing. got a few of my postcard books here that you can see, and a few of the small books along with, you know, like quote books and other stuff that I like as well. So that's it, that's my storage area in my living room and then I'll show you where I work, close to where I sit on where the couch. I sit on the couch here. Um, on this end and this is the table which is just a simple table um, that you can fold away, a fold away table and, and the light that I use um, where I do my colouring and then next to it if you look here I've got two uh, little cupboards where I put my um, stuff, my colouring stuff that I use and they're just to hand basically so I'm just going to move the table so you can see what I've got now in this first cupboard that you can see that I have got sort of, um, you know, little media to use. So things like um, Dovecraft, Pearl Effects, etc. So yeah, in here I have things like the enamel accent in black, in white, and just sort of other sort of pearl liquid pearls I think it's called and then I also have this tray as well and in here I have things like whoops um, Mod Podge Extreme Glitter um, Glossy Accents uh, what else then um, Iridescent medium, a few nouveau drops as well. Just change hands. So um, yeah, crystal drops, some glossy accents. I think I said, and then some of this which just brought recently was nouveau dream drops, and then some crackle accents as well, and just a water bottle. Some more Nouveau drops and Mod Podge. So they live in here. And then in this box here, if we just reach in, I have my stickles. So yeah, these these just arrange the stickles, just keep them in there. And then my glitters in these um, silver sort of well grey should I say grey trays and then what I did is I wrote the names on the top so this is sunny side um, and it's the glitter so in here I've got my glitters mainly nouveau glitters Um also got this one which is um, Ebony and Ivory from a different brand. Got the uh, Nouveau Glitter there as well. And then this is just a makeshift glitter shaker that my husband made me. And then I have also um, Glitter Jewels, some other brands as well. And then my Gold Halo Mix and Silver Halo Mix. So in there's the glitters and like I say, I've put the names on the top there. So just put that to the side. And in this one I have my um, confettis. So they are falling over a little bit, but it can't be helped. So there you go. Um, same thing, put the names on the top. And then I've also got a few pastes. I've only got a couple of pastes actually. The glimmer paste in red and in green and also got this which is the cosmic shimmer lunar paste and this is really really nice it's called the cosmic shimmer sparkle texture paste that's really nice to put glitter on so yeah they go in here so they're they're close to me and i can just you know close to hand when i'm coloring besides the couch 
It would be better if they stacked the stackable, but they will stay there somehow. It's all right. Okay, so that's that one. Then the second one, I have um, this pencil case where I keep, well, not pencil case, but um, desk tidy with um, just all the sort of things that I use often so your clear sparkle pens um, wink of stella uh, black pit artist pens um, scissors blenders there's various blenders here that i have a pencil then i've got my glaze pens and gold and silver um, pens you know for embellishing prismacolor sharpener posca black and white um teagull um, sharpener um, pencil extender, eraser, USB, etc. You know, so stuff like that. That goes in there. Then I have my um, creative companion um, with my swatches, etc., and other stuff in it. And then I have this tray which I can just pull out, and it's got various pencil cases in here. And um, I won't go through them all because I'll probably make a separate video where I show you what I've got in my pencil cases. So if you're interested in that video, um, I'm just going to take it out because one of the pencil cases is not where it should be. So yeah, if you want, if you would like to see a pencil cases video, just let me know in the comments below. And then in this tray, I keep my swatch books. I've got um, wet media swatches. Um, and then this has got basically embellishments, embellishments, etc., with you know, of uh, glitter and confetti, etc. And then a couple more because I've collected them over time, and because I know where, where each swatch is anyway, in which book, so and then just a little pad here, and then in here, this at the bottom. This sort of comes out and I've got my most um, used pencils so in here well in this one first one it's just gel pens that I use mainly my jelly rolls this one's got uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos this one's Prismacolor this one's um, this one's Luminance and Faber-Castell um, some Faber-Castell Black Edition and then just another pencil case with odds and ends in there so that's that that goes in there and then in this final um tower i have some ink tents blocks 12 um and then some fine liners in here this box uh, some more fine liners in the other box at the back fine liners fine liners so I'm just going to put them back and then in here are my um, Calero paints and here again watercolour paints and here some more metallic paints. So keep my metallic paints in these sort of trays that I have and I keep them there close to me so they're easy to use. And then again, some of my favourite pencils are right next to me, Pablo's, the Black Widow, the Holbein, the Arteza and the Museum Aquarelle and Supracolors. And then here I have some classic chalks which I haven't really used recently at all, uh, so I need to check them out. And then there you can see my pan pastels. I've got 20 tray and sorry a 10 tray 20 trays there and the 10 tray on top nearly finished and then here on the drawer below that are the pastel tools the few pastel tools I've got then I have 36 Prismacolor art sticks which are good for backgrounds so they look like if you've not seen them before they look like this um, got a video on backgrounds with them and then my lovely 86 sorry 84 um neo colors in there which are near me because i use them often and then 
last but not least is the Derwent um, ink tents. So I'll just pop that back in that place and then right at the bottom which isn't massively easy to get to but I, I can I can try um, I have some uh, Lamouche alcohol markers and these are my other alcohol markers so these are the Spectrum Noir ones the tri-blends this one here is the Arteza and then that one at the back I think is just got different ones like Art and Fly etc but I might make a separate video just to show my alcohol markers okay so basically um, that's my um coloring art storage area which i keep in my living room so i hope you um like this video if so please press the thumbs up button and thank you for watching and see you next time bye